Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. Looking at basses today, we're going to the four string world to check out the player series from Fender. Looking at the Fender Player Jazz Bass, price point of $7.99. Super cool, I love what Fender's doing with the player series. We'll talk specs on the bench before we plug it in and play it, and today I'm gonna have John Lawler, bass extraordinaire, plug that bass in, let it rip, and let you hear it in action. I can't wait and I know you're gonna love this. So let's get to work talking specs, but before we do that, do us a favor, if you're in the market for any new gear, click to buy using our link because it really does help us. And not only that, you get fast free shipping and easy payment plans. The payment plans makes buying gear super easy. Check that out in the description. All right, let's get to work on the Fender Player Series Jazz Bass. I'm super pumped about this one. Nut is 1.51 inches. First fret 0.81 inches, up to 0.88 at the 12th. Bridge is 6.7, combine 3.4, 6.5 in neck. Player Jazz, eight pounds, 13 ounces, we'll call it 8.8 uh, .8 pounds. So all, like right away, like you notice there's a lot more in these pickups. This is the same settings that I had for the previous American Professional series. I'm getting a lot more out of these pickups than oh, interesting than the American Professional pickups. That's something you definitely want to look out for. Is, but these are definitely a little bit hotter. It's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just something to make note of. Like Mexican models are like Fender's best known secret. It's like, you know, really, there's, there's solid bases, man. You know, Teal Burbridge, when he first joined the Allman Brothers, he was like a five and six, six string player. And he went out and bought a Mexican jazz bass after he made the audition and played like the first four years on all their tours with just this, like this kind of jazz oh. bass, you know? And I mean, that, that's really saying something in the studio and everything, so. To me, like, I actually think this tone is great, and it's a winner, you know? That's a, that's a good sound in jazz bass right there. have a little bit more power coming out of the pickups like that there's a lot more response with all the effects that you're going to use that's really important when i'm shopping for jazz basses especially because i'm going to use them with usually a lot more effects so i'm really conscious about you know how much is coming out of the pickups in terms of for the tracking for the pedals and like right here like i just i've got a lot of firepower Connecting with it right away, and I hear what you're talking about. It's got it's got that yeah. fiery voice to it. A you lot know, of I'm character. surprised. I'm surprised. You know, it's and and that's I'm not surprised at the same time. You know, it's just like a there's a little bit of a dip in the neck. Like again, it's like the, you're gonna get an adjustment with every bass you buy out of the box. But it's important to make note of these kind of things. And what I try to look for is, you know, is the neck straight or all the parts in working order, especially when you get with these more affordable series, I feel like, you know, what the difference is, is, you know, they're not handmade, they're assembly line made, and you do have to put a little bit more effort into them to get them kind of like up to par. 
and I am, I, ch I tend to look out for just like pretty big, you know, noticeable things. Like if the neck's twisted, if like the bolts aren't, you know, I've, I've had a couple of these where one of the bolts has been loose or something like that. So it's just like simple stuff like that. Making sure that, you know, your tuning pegs all work just fine. You know, uh, it's, it, the, these bases, you know, as you get down into the cheaper models, like they're just made with cheaper parts, but they're all the same blue, you know, blueprints and stuff like that. And they're made from the same cuts, essentially. It's just made with cheaper parts. So you just, it, it is a, a maple neck. It's a two piece maple neck though, that they tried to make look like one. So <laughs> you gotta like, you know, it makes a difference, but again, like it sounds great. I think you got a lot of bang for your buck here, you know? Great. Wanna try it with the track? Yeah, let's do the track. like that one huh yeah it's nice <laughs> it's it, you know it's always a pleasant surprise to know that you don't have to spend two grand to get a good sounding bass yeah I think what's more important when you're shopping at this price point is understanding that you are dealing with an assembly line model so you know depending on <laughs> what number base this was that day you might be dealing with a more efficient make just based on the way it was run in the assembly line so I think that like this is what to look for. Does it feel good right out of the, the, the box, you know, especially with these more affordable models? Because, I mean, if, if something's drastically wrong with the instrument, like, you're not gonna get it fixed no matter how hard you try. So I think this is a really good example of a nice factory-made, like, assembly line bass that was just at the right moment at the right time, and everything feels good. Great, fantastic. Should we move over to the uh, P bass? Sure. All right, I'm telling you, the player series from Fender should make you sit up and take notice of great quality, great price, and a jazz bass that does exactly what it should do and sounds fantastic. Super impressed by the sounds of this bass. If you're in the market for this bass or any other gear, click to buy using our link. Thanks for doing that, it does support us. You get those easy payment plans I told you. Go check that out in the link. You'll be very happy you did. Makes buying new gear super easy. Thanks to John Lawler for demoing the Fender Player Series Jazz Bass today. We'll see you on the next video and you can check out the comparisons of the Jazz vs. P Bass across Squire, Fender Player, and American Professional 2 Series. Check out that video now. See you on the next one. Take care.